Kune actually is a boss. Okay, so that's where some of these characters are going to show up then. <laughs> uh, I see. Training that, over. That was the run. Alright, now tell us where we are, game. I mean, clearly we're in a... Actually, no, nothing is clear at all. <laughs> <laughs> Now that you're okay, I have something else to attend to. You should go to your mind training session. You received a new message. Yeah. I mean, I think it, I think it's like the world of Blaze Blue is is happening or has happened, and we are analyzing the data and trying to recreate it as a series of, of robots. Uh, info, voicemail. Acer, are you all right? I am seeing something. It's not right. If you see this message, call me, please. Why to call back? Acer. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. I thought I'd lost you. Data showed you were a complete mess just now. It wasn't like you went offline or took a training session. Did you come into contact with something? A Dyson Sphere. An orb? Did anything happen after you made contact with it? It showed me an explosion. You saw it? I don't quite follow. It was the Big Bang. Well... Phenomena? How can this be? It doesn't make any sense. Do you know what it is? No. I've never heard of such a thing inside Ace. Did it say anything else to you? It tried to show us the wiki, <laughs> and that's what happened <laughs> in our, inside our brains. Okay. Based on my experience, perhaps it is a feature that is still under development. I will keep track of this event. If something about it changes, can you please let me know? Sure. Whenever my mind breaks again, we'll, we'll tell you first. Mysterious room on the left. Met an orb. The words made no sense. <laughs> Yeah. Accurate. You've completed a mind training session. That's good progress for a new beginner. Here's your reward. Thank Speaking you. Of which, I trust that you've spoken to Neo about the mind upgrade. The octopus that's been sleeping. What are you talking about? Do me a favor, Acer. Wake him. I don't care how you do it. Just wake him. Octopus? Okay. Oh, here. Hey. Uh, hey. Uh, I think Io's a bit mad. Io? Oh, 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 oh. Hello, Acer. My name is Neo. Nice to meet you. You're awake. Did I just hear Ayo? <laughs> Probably not. He would never leave his room. Wake up. This is bad. Is it scary? He's like a machine that knows no fatigue, fully immersed in the management of Ace. I'm sorry, Acer. Please take this AP. This is what I can do for you since I wasn't there to welcome you when you first arrived. Take this AP. Acer, since you are here, would you like to go for a mind upgrade? What's that? The Mind Upgrade is a support system provided by Ace to all the Acers. It can boost the HP of your Evotype during a mind training session to allow more room for mistakes. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it in no time. Sure. No problem. I'll activate the Mind Upgrade device for you now. Try to raise your Mind Upgrade level to 2. I guess it's easier Raising to... Mind upgrade level can unlock implant slots for Mind Crystals. It's, I guess it's easier to, like, let the developers just kind of make their own thing and not worry about affecting the story by having you actually have to play as these characters and do things in a PvE lore context, yeah. you know? You're um, not forcing Mai to fight against Ragnarons for some reason. Well, maybe it would be better if Guilty Gear 2 Overture was not forced to be canon. 
<laughs> Maybe if it was all a virtual reality that could be completely, uh, you know, Step excised yeah. like a tumor from the franchise, that would be a good thing. Are you spending all your triangle money? Mind crystals can improve the ability of your characters in mind training. I don't see anything By else to spend it on. And defeating elite enemies for the first time on each entropy difficulty level, you can get fragmented minds. Defeat ele elite enemies in each difficulty. And I don't have enough. Yeah, like the only thing to spend them on here is this. Unless, do, is this the same currency that unlocks characters? Oh, good question. Just to make sure. Oh, you had to pay to get the character? Okay. Yeah. I think so. I thought so. Did we talk to this thing? Oh, shit. Yeah, you're a thing. <laughs> it's a commander video. Hello, so you finally found me. So what makes you say that? When I heard your voice, I was going to say hello to you, but as you can see, I do not possess the ability to move around. So all I could do was wait for you to find me. What are you doing? I record, organize, and show you the tactics you've collected. If you have no time to spare now, I can show them to you right now. Yeah, I saw the ice one is leveled up, so it's like all the things I've bought from the last you can run. All the tactics and yeah. tactic trees associated with mind training in the codex. Yeah. Just building out your library. Okay. Ice is up level th four, lightning up to three, etc., etc. Even though the numbers at the top don't reflect that. Oh. Oh, huh, yeah. Weird. Hmm. Good. Good point. Okay. So, further this way. Either you said some, someone was waiting. Oh, was that actually the limit? Hmm. Not yet. Uh, okay, let me just make sure I'm not burning character currency. It's highly efficient and designed for Acer. You can adjust the difficulty of mind training here. Mind training routine. It utilizes various Eva types to challenge elite enemies and aims to. When entropy is at. Is. Gr is Wait. When entropy is less than zero? Mm, no, greater or equal to Greater zero. or equal to zero. Okay. Uh My Yeah, okay, I had to spend uh one oh, okay. Abstergo point. <laughs> not the right not the same currency. Unlocking prototype. You don't have enough prototype analyzers. Earn more from the training objective. Or in other way. Uh-huh. Back gives you intel and X gives you... Shows you reward distribution. Oh, well, that's it. Anyway, so the currency is... Yeah, okay. Or in other ways. Uh, training objective. So in that case, I will spend this currency. Oh, you completed the mind upgrade. Do you feel power coursing through you? I think so. In that case, I'll give you something extra. Take this mind crystal. Okay. It can provide extra help during your mind training session. Of course, you'll have to raise your mind upgrade to level 5 before you can equip it. I see. Blind rage. 
Ah, oh, Acer, if you've learned how the mind upgrade works when you see IO, could you put in a few good words for me? Tell him that I've been hard at work. Is he really that Of scary? course, I've lost count of how many victims he disposed of, whether it's us or Acers like you. Fall victim. I know, right? If you ever violate the code of conduct in the world of Ace, he will not think twice before punishing you. So please tell him I've been hard at work. Okay. Uh... So let's just spend the rest of this, then. Alright. Two slots. Uh... <laughs> what a... The HUD is very odd, because it looks like there's a lot of selectable things, but there... Um, actually aren't. Okay, so you get the reward for another character by talking to the big screen on B1. Okay. Did it say one out of one? Okay. It seems you've woken that slacking octopus. I don't know what he told you, but I always do things by the book. Any NPC should do their best to aid an Acer. Sky's Eyes dedicates a lot of server resources to sustain them. Kind of rude to, to call him an NPC. <laughs> Even though he is. Straight up. Since you put it that way, I won't hold him responsible this time. Take this analyzer, and let's continue with the next step of our mind training. Ah. Okay. You got the currency. Okay, sir. Do you remember the evil type you generated after your first mind training session? Uh, yes, it will help you with your future training. Each evil type can transfer some of its unique abilities to your next mind training session. An evil type with a higher rating can transfer more abilities. I guess specifically the um, roguelike add-ons. Let you in on more details during your next training session. Bring your legacy evil types with you and complete mind training session. Acer. Alright. You have the prototype analyzer. Now you can unlock a new prototype. There we go. Who are you gonna unlock? You can inherit from an existing EVA type to get their legacy, talents, and tactics. Uh, delete EVA type, hold to battle. Oh, you have to fight it? Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, okay. Potential. Oh, she's gonna talk a lot. Uh, so you're supposed to be able to do what he was doing or something? Yeah, I don't know what the inheriting was about. Not super clear. Uh, but... Looks like you can't do the full Rekka uh, options just yet. Uh, down an X, multi multi melee hit. Okay, you unlock them as you go. Uh, dash thrice with iframes five times in a row. Jump, shoot down. Yeah, let's go with uh, this one. Yeah, you unlock the, the racket chains as you go. That makes more sense. Uh, two debuffs, but a lot of exchange points. 
Yeah, sure. Skill damage reduction, mixture less effective. Mixture? Oh, I think that's your healing. Maybe. Mate, no. One of those things at the bottom. <laughs> Is that for MP, maybe? Oh yeah, she's squishier. Uh, lightning, dash thunderbolts, attack lightning. Tactic potential, no damage reward. Mm -hmm. Define javelin, light spear. Using a skill, spawn two light spears that deal a lot of damage. Uh, when you hit, when your skill hits an enemy, their shadow turns to shadow spike, or the dodge thunder. That sounds cool. Uh, and you can actually keep shopping. What is potential? What is potential? Hmm. There was definitely one of these. Okay, it's one of these upgrades. Yeah. Right, you gotta learn the terminology. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so is my skill? Uh, my X button. Y. The Y button, rather. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. The main character looks so much cooler than these random enemies. Yeah. <laughs> like. But they have Hakuman pants, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the deal. Uh, light. Let's try light out. Survive for 45 seconds. It can be done. The lightning effect off my skill is super subtle. Where's my healing? It got interrupted? Yeah, okay. Well, big boy. Spear barely shows up. That doesn't feel very good. We'll go with this. And yeah, what is. All the cooldowns are at the bottom right, I guess. What? Is this a, is this a block or. What is that exactly? About crashes. <laughs> oh no. Oh. About getting stuck. Whoa. That's no good. Okay. 
Um, they're working on it. The police are upfront about it. Uh, do you want me to tell you a, a button? Sure, sure. It's, it's, yeah, the uh, RB button. RB is summon or interact, if I recall correctly. But, but, but I'm not summoning anything, and there's no interaction. There's like a little shield thing that's happening when I use it. It's doing something. It looks like a shield. But it does like a light a little light attack. Oh, just a little burst if you don't have a summon. Ah, okay, got it. Thank you. Whoa. Ooh. Oh boy. No healing. Oof. Got swept. Kick out the little breaker. Oh, word? Oh no. Oh. oh wow. <laughs> Okay, it looks really fun to play. <laughs> yeah, really cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <sighs> ah. Legacy Shroud Fall. So, not enough defense. Oh, hello. Is there anything I can help you with? How many points? Oh yeah, the slots. So you got mine upgrades and you can implant mine crystals. But you still don't have enough, correct? Blind rage we got. After defeating an enemy for 10 seconds, your damage increased. You don't have enough. So you can ascend. ascend or you can implant. Okay. With Y. Now you implanted it, right? Mm-hmm. You can ascend it to level two. Or to level three, yeah. <laughs> it's this is a lot how like a lot of these things is very much how a mobile game works, with like lots of different minor upgrade, tweak pathways and spending things to. But it's not a mobile game. But it like this type of thing makes it feel like that, you know. Uh, this is kind of how I felt when I was playing the um, the uh, Mega Man Cross Dive offline. Um. Yeah, so you're gonna need some some more of that currency to do that for the two slots that are there. Um, all of that is extremely minor compared to just. Of course, I want to just uh, play as the characters. Uh, so when you go to hard, let me see. Yeah, I was like, do the, do you get more rewards? Uh, Seems like stuff's locked anyway. And we still don't know what's a sorticio space, right? Yeah, true. Um, this is a lot of stuff that I just like, I don't know what any of these words <laughs> mean, so. <laughs> just choose one at random. Sure. <laughs> All right. So then, how do we get the next one? I guess we should um, complete a mind training, like uh, Ayo said. Right now we don't have a... Uh, a I forget the name already. <laughs> Prototype... Uh, ascension or something? Who knows? Analyzers. Training objective. Yeah, Ayo said to complete... Uh, a mind training session with evil type legacy use your legacy to complete one mind training session okay all right 
I'm gonna use the bathroom for a second. Um, I I just unlocked the Hakumen. I selected Hakumen, but then I don't know if that was all that the only step, or if there was more steps after that. Mm -hmm. So I'll try to figure that out in a second. We'll check. All right, what were we doing? Um, so training objectives. Uh, yeah, I have to equip it. Is the problem? Let's let's equip. Let's try this again. So... If I go back to Hakumen... So A to confirm, hold A to battle. So then did you press A or did you hold I held A? it. I held so it. So it said press A to confirm. Hold A to battle. So last time, that's I held it as well. So that might be the issue. So I it was supposed to just press, not hold, not battle. Okay, all right, hold on. Let us out. Abort. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I would definitely use different buttons, if that's actually the case. Hold versus tap? Yeah. Uh, very much so. Once you have selected the hero type to inherit from, hold to battle to start your mind training session. Now it's selected. Prioritizes ranged enemies and locks on them to them to use explosive attacks. Uh, so that's what you inherit from... From Noel. From Noel. And you can't take the same evil type for the yeah. same character. So it's just another specific character ability that... Oh, Jesus, dude. <laughs> get the fucking... Get the, get the, get the mask, man. <laughs> or, you know, one pack less cigarette per day. You know, go from two packs to one pack. So that wasn't a... S yeah, it was just a trade. It wasn't her summon joining us. No, definitely not the summon, yeah. It also seems like, um, like her ability or like, it's such a very specific minor thing, you know? Um, if I can look at what her I inherited. It's ranged enemies and locks onto them to use explosive attacks. Yeah. But like, is this only one I have? Explosive attacks, for example, right? Like, oh, when I'm using a character like him, that doesn't seem very compatible with my my moves, you know? Or is it just a is it a is it an, a new ability entirely? Oh, never mind. It's a new ability. Yeah, it's a new it's a new thing entirely. Never mind. Okay, okay. Gotcha. That's cool. All right. Down and B blinks. Crouching dash, cool, cool. Oh, that's the uh, that's the counter slash actually. Toxin. Let's see what poison is like. Slime that automatically attack enemies. Poison. Uh, 
poison over time. When you kill an enemy, attacks inflict poison on enemies in range. Okay. Using your legacy, spawns venom, dealing... Yeah, let's go with poison. This upgraded might be really good. Some games have terrible poison, some games have amazing poison. You never know. Buff. <laughs> Thank you. Can I get a breakdown on... Ah, it's fine. High HP damage boost. So, what's the threshold for that? Yeah, somewhere near the top, I guess. More toxin. Luke. Spotted. Oh, they got poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The pretty poison that you liked so much. That shit you wanted to fucking roll up. Hey! <laughs> the other poison was sparkling, okay? This was sparkling too! That's not as pretty. Here, little, take a look when I do it. It's sparkling. Oh, you're sparkling. Look, look at it. Yeah, it's around me, okay. See, that looks like a buff. Reactive Miasma? Upon taking a hit, poisons enemies. When losing legacy, poison enemy will be stunned after 1.5... Oh, wait, poison enemy will be stunned 1.5 seconds after one sec. Why would you word it that way? What a silly way to word it. Uh, you're right. I guess it's two variables that can upgrade as time goes on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a one second delay and then... Mm -hmm. How else would you phrase it? The poison enemy... The enemy will be stunned for 1.5 seconds after one second. That's pretty similar, is it? Is what it said. Yeah, and how would you say it? Um, it's the startup and then the actual duration. Okay, for a second, uh, okay, I, I, I misunderstood the message. Um, hold up, let's do this. Go to my build. Where is the... Potential tactic, adaptive adjustment, others. No. Okay, the poisoned enemy will be stunned 1.5 seconds after one second. So the fact that it doesn't say stunned four made me interpret that as the poisoned enemy will be stunned. Um, after 1.5 seconds, after one second. Oh, okay. So the lack of the word four made me mis misread that sentence as essentially a 2.5 second duration. I see. When the lack, because it doesn't have that that okay. that word, that was the problem. Quick maths. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Is that skill based? Roulette. Maybe. Because you could stop it, right? I didn't. I just let it do its own thing. Oh, but it seems like I could. Yeah, there was a stop prompt at the bottom. So yeah, it looks like I have three heals. To, uh... Next to my life bar there. Yeah, the poison. The poison stays where in uh, uh, where they die, mind you. Mm. Right over back okay, there. Yeah. I yeah. See. There's actually some smoke. Ooh. Okay. Let's see if I can heal up without. It's very subtle. It's very subtle, but yeah. it's there, and it and it, and it twinkles. Uh, exchange. Yeah. Let's see if we can exchange for some life. Tech 
Galactic Ascension. Poison Contamination. Will be stunned for longer. Yeah. And Miasma. Uh, when eliminating an enemy, attacks inflict poison. Uh, which will kill them after a while, depending on their current HP. The higher the quality, the shorter the killing time. So this is a stun, and this is just damage. I want the damage. Mm. Nice track. Ready for action. Oh, it's the sweeper again. That's a grab, bro. Wow. Ugh. He's committed. Dude, don't put me in the damage, though. That's the problem. <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> mm -mm. That's why. Ugh. Uh oh. Turned it around. One more hit. Mm. Yeah, that the the walls make a make it a pretty bad commitment if you do your big counter. Um, super armor during your normal attack. Okay. Uh, recovery off the jump. Or down and Y takes a special blocking stance. Uh, yeah, that's the counter. So it just it upgrades my counter. Down Y special blocking stance. If you do down Y X, it uses a Jinrai for SP. SP you earn SP upon blocking using hit Koku. Okay, let's just try this out. Uh, A different kind of parry. Oh, nice. Jinrai. Wait. I can't do the second one anymore. Uh, is it that meter? If you... Press L3, it will restore your MP and SP. Okay. Right, you can do it. You can do it without the parry as well. Uh, SP. Uh, SP meter seems to have appeared at the bottom there. Yes, when I press the button, it refills it. When you press L3, yeah. Uh, That's written at the top of the screen. Yes, the... Ah, shit. Oops. Uh, that's fine, that's fine. Um, I just want to read about how you get it back. 
it costs 50 to use the counter version or 100 to do the non-counter version. And you build it by blocking a hit using... Uh, Yukikaze. I, 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 maybe that's the regular parry? Let's go with it. Yukikaze. They can block me, Spence. Yeah, the regular parry. Okay. Okay. Umbra. Parry, parry. Get your SP. And then you get Jin Rise after. Ah, so if it, if it caps out at 100, then should be good to use pretty often then. Yeah, you Can't. don't want to have like a roguelike that doesn't incentivize using things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is uh, very. This is similar, reminiscent of Dead Cells, um, that roguelike platform combat platformer, and uh, icy as well. I think twenty-five SP. Okay, okay. Legacy Black Hole. And you think your legacy spawns is Black Hole, pulling enemies and doing one thirty DPS. Summon Tentacle. Umbra tentacles when enemies are nearby. 15 seconds, 190 damage with each hit. One Umbra tentacle at the same time for now. So one tentacle, mm -hmm. attacks for 15 seconds, 190 damage per hit. Or shadow spike when your skill hits an enemy, their shadow turns into a spike that deals damage. Um... Legacy is the the LT, right? The yeah, the skill that you got from your friend. Mm -hmm. Or friend. Okay, I don't use that that often. Um, maybe I should. Maybe you should. You bent hole. Uh. Yeah, we should check out what's the cooldown on your skill and your legacy. Okay, that was legacy. Not that bad. Uh, and it's back. Let's say about 13, 14 seconds. And your regular skill comes out, comes back way faster. Uh huh, the grab. Uh, super armor on the attacks. Yeah, let's go with that. More, More damage, damage taken, taken intermittent, intermittent thunder. thunder. Okay. 